I think Trey Lance is going to take this job from him right away. You were like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's probably <laughs> the more sensible yeah. prediction. So how, how do you – what's the timeline you think? What are you expecting? Mm, well, first of all, when we signed Trey, uh, I was really happy because I did think that he was the best out of the prospects that we could draft it in, in that third, uh, third spot this year's NFL draft. Mm -hmm. But uh, from, the, from the first time when we have talked about him, I said that – I'm not sure that he could be ready for the season start. And I do think that Kyle wants to give him time to prove himself, to improve mm -hmm. his uh, reads, who, who get used to the speed of the pro level, because you shouldn't just forget that played in second division college, uh, uh, second division college football. So that's not the same. We have seen quarterbacks who were stars in college uh, first division fail uh, in the NFL. Uh, Kai just, I, I don't think that Kai wants to to experiment if if uh, if Trey will fail as well as a pro because that that was uh, a live or die pick from Kai this season because <clears throat> this pick will will just uh, determine the future of this franchise in the future and determine the future of Kai Shanahan as a 49ers head coach. So what I think of is that the first possible game when we will start Trey Lance is against the first Los Angeles game. The first Los Angeles it's, game about halfway through the season, week 10? Yeah. yeah. Week 10. Okay. Why, why do you pick that? Well, because I do think that our schedule is front-loaded this season. Uh, so we are going to play against Green Bay third week, then Seattle, then Arizona, then Indianapolis, then Chicago and Arizona again. Uh, these games are going to be really hard. And, uh, and Kai proved that he can beat the Rams even with CJ Bettered. Kai ah. knows what to do against the Rams. And that's why I think that that game, which is going to be a, a huge game because we are going to play against, I do think that our strongest divisional opponent this season with uh, Matthew Stafford, who is a fresh signing. And um, Kai just wants to give Trey as many passion and as many self-confidence as possible. And mm -hmm. if he lets Trey play against the Rams, which is a divisional opponent, which is going to be a huge game, and uh, if Trey can beat the Rams with Kyle, that's the best possible start for him for the rest of the season. And it will give confidence to him for the rest of the season. Yeah. Here's the, I have the Niners problem. They're not a rebuilding team. It's not year one of Kyle Shanahan's tenure. It's year five. And even though they want to move on from Jimmy Garoppolo, here's Jimmy Garoppolo's numbers with the 49ers. Okay. He's 22 and eight as a starter. His quarterback rating is 98.1. So we all have problems with him. The Niners have a problem with him. We all know the issue. But they can't just bring in a kid who is going to have a quarterback rating of 65 next year. Now, I'm not saying yeah. Trey Lance will, but everyone compares him to Josh Allen. These were Josh Allen's numbers as a rookie, all right? He was 5-6. and six. He completed 52% of his passes. His quarterback rating was 67.9. Now, that was fine for Buffalo because they were a rebuilding team with a first-year coach. That was fine. But that's not the same situation the Niners are in. And if he is the next Josh Allen, great. You got a superstar. But you can't afford to play him in that circumstance because Jimmy's better than that right now. Yeah. I'm not saying Jimmy – I'm not saying that Trey Lance is going to be that. But if that's the curve that he's on, the Josh Allen curve, then, I mean, look at his numbers year two. Josh Allen year two. He did go 10-6. and six. He completed 58% of his passes. His rating was 85. Again, it's hard to take away Jimmy's job for a guy who's not as good as him. I think – that's yeah. why when he finally gets the job, he needs to be ready to tear it up the way that Kaepernick was when he finally took Alex Smith's job. Yeah, that's why I think that uh, the ideal spot to start him is at the 10th week of this season because the Niners possibly are going to be 6-3 to three or 7-2 or to two in ideal um, situation, in an ideal situation when if Trey is going to be mediocre or at least decent for the rest of the season, they can easily go to the playoff at the wide card spot with him. The more I think about it, the more I feel like this is Jimmy Garoppolo's job to lose more than Trey's to win. Yeah. Because if, if they if they both compete in, in training camp and Kyle says Trey's better, but then he's wrong and Trey goes out 
in the regular season. It's not practice. It's not pre. It's not preseason. You go out in the regular season and loses to Detroit. You know, it just doesn't look ready. Now you're in a terrible spot because you have to bench your guy, which is pretty much the worst way. <laughs> now you're in like the Tua Tagovailoa situation. You're benching your guy and you're bringing back Jimmy. Oh, you can't let that happen. So what's better for the Niners is for Jimmy to win the competition, I guess. Go out there and either play well and keep the job and let Trey Lance develop or or lose it. All of a sudden become a guy who doesn't win anymore. His quarterback rating dips into the 80s. Then it's like, well, Niner fans are done with you. Goodbye. Trey Lance can come in and do whatever he, whatever he can. That's the way I look at it. I think Jimmy's going to have to lose this. Yeah, that, that that's for sure. Yeah. That's for sure. But um, don't get me wrong. If we are going to trade Jimmy Garoppolo before the trade deadline, because the franchise quarterback is going to hurt himself during the season, and that's Jimmy the doesn't, then... You got to stay healthy, buddy. Yeah. Now, they have given up. They've improved the offensive line. Um, they've brought in a lot of reinforcements, so... Uh, they, I don't know what he can say. Last year was a bad offensive line. He looked freaked week one, but he can't say that anymore. Alex Mack, Aaron Banks, dude, you got to stand and deliver with confidence. Otherwise, Trey Lance will. Yeah, that's for sure. Pretty much that's it. All right. I haven't talked to you really since the schedule came out. Have I? No. Just to answer fast to Josh Gonzalez. No, Josh, that's not the Cowboys helmet. It was my helmet for about six years when I was playing American football. It's it's more likely blue, and it has some Panthers marks on both sides of the helmet. Because when I retired, I was a Panthers player here in Hungary. It looks like a North Carolina helmet to me. I thought you were yeah, a Tar Heel yeah, for a kinda, second. Kinda, 